Hey guys, it's Robin and I'm super excited today because I have some Star Wars Celebration exclusive Funko Pops. Um, I was able to get these from a bunch of different sites. Um, I have this awesome Hoth Princess Leia, which was a, um, what is this site called? Lunchbox or bo Box Lunch exclusive. Grand Admiral Thrawn. So excited about Thrawn. Um, he was a Toys R Us. And then I also got Chopper and Han Solo who were available at Hot Topic. There were a couple other um, exclusives from Celebration. Um, I don't think they're all on here. No, I don't see them. Um, the hooded Luke Skywalker was one. Um, and a couple others, but they were, I don't know where they were. I haven't been able to find Luke and the other ones I don't think I was that interested in. There was also a Ray on her um, speeder at Walmart that I was not able to find. And I also have some Tsum Tsum stuff from Disney to show you guys as well. But first, let's look at the pops. Now, I'm kind of annoyed that a new Leia is available and that she's an exclusive because I don't think we have enough Leias. Let's see if I can remember all the different pop Leias. There's probably more, but there's Leia with the buns, Slave Leia, Leia um, in her bounty hunter outfit from Return of the Jedi. There's Leia from Endor. There's uh, an exclusive with Leia without the the helmet in her bounty hunter outfit, which is another exclusive I'm annoyed about. Um, so there's Princess Leia from Hoth now as well. And I don't know, I just feel like there's so many Lukes out there and so many Hans, but not enough Leias, I don't know. I think just Leia should just, there should just be lots of her. And um, there's also um, two different Leias, at least two different Leias from The Force Awakens as well. General Organa. But here she is in her outfit from Hoth, and I think this is so cool. And, you know, you always see her with the buns on her hair, these ones. <laughs> but really, that was just, you know, that was just one movie. She's in three other movies. So I think you should celebrate those looks as well and the different hairstyles. Oh my goodness, this is hard to get out. And of course, the Star Wars figures are all bobbleheads. And I think her hair looks awesome. So cool, really great braid. Very practical for a frozen planet. And she has an awesome pose because she is in charge. And she is telling those guys what to do. Go rescue Luke. Let's get off this planet. Vader's coming. Um, she has like some kind of like like um, insignia or calm on her outfit there. And she's got the jacket, really cool boots, awesome pose. I think she looks amazing. There's lots of texture, like there's some quilting on her knees and on her, like on her arms. Just really amazing detail on these new pops lately. Um, and all the Star Wars characters come with a base too, which is really cool. Makes them very special. I keep all my Star Wars pops in their boxes and I have a lot of Star Wars pops. I probably have more Star Wars pops than any other series and I don't know what to do with them all. <laughs> I might have to start getting rid of some of the boxes. Uh, all right, next we have Chopper from Rebels and Chopper is one of my favorite characters on Rebels. Um, I have all the other ones. I'll put a link to my Rebels video maybe at the end of this. Um, so Chopper is just such a cool droid. He's such a cranky dude. And he also has a cameo in Rogue One, which is pretty awesome. And this is like his little disguise when he's like evil Chopper. Um, he's gone in, in disguise a couple of times over to um, the Imperial side and he wears his outfit. And there was actually an episode where he was really mean wearing this getup. It was a good episode. Um, Rebels is just one of my favorite shows and it's getting canceled or it's coming to an end. I talked about it on my other channel, Miss Robin's Nerd Life, that I did a video about that. You should check it out if you're a Star Wars fan. I will link to that as well. Um, and I talk a lot about Rebels. It's like just such a great show. And I love the different color scheme on him. So I thought that was cute. I know I said I'm trying to focus on different characters, but when it comes to Star Wars, I just find them very hard to resist because I love them so much. And the same goes for Han here. Um, he's wearing the original Han Solo outfit, but his pose is just so cool <laughs> that I just love it. Um, you know, he just looks awesome. Oh, he's a little schmutzy too. He's kind of dirty looking. 
but I think he looks very cool. This is definitely like a, um, a New Hope outfit. Just, he looks awesome. I think he looks so cool. Love Han Solo so much. So I had to have him as well. And then of course, General Thrawn. Is it General? Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm actually reading the new book by Timothy Zahn about Thrawn, which is now canon, and I'm so happy that Thrawn is now canon. If you don't know who Thrawn is, he was a character in the um, Heir to the Empire series. He was like a major villain in a bunch of books by Timothy Zahn that took place in the extended universe, but then when Disney bought Star Wars, he was kind of like, you know, they made those all legends. But they brought him into Star Wars Rebels, which is so awesome. It's like such a cool thing that they did. And there's a lot of stuff that Timothy Zahn wrote about that, that became canon. Like he invented Coruscant pretty much. And then some of that stuff ended up in the prequels. Um, and it's really cool that his influence has made such a mark on Star Wars. Um, so Thrawn is such an awesome character. It's very cool that he had an awesome book. The book is really good. Talks about his origins and how he became Grand Admiral, um, and I I just love this character and this pop looks so cool. I'm so excited that he was like really easy to find too. Uh, I just ordered him from from uh, ToysRUs.com. He's got the creepy red eyes. He's got his pose. He's got the um, what do they call it? The ISB uniform, and he's got all these medals because. He has done a lot of stuff for the Empire to get to this rank, um, even though he is a, a, a Chiss, is that what it's called, a Chiss? And he's blue, he's blue alien, there's not a lot of aliens in the Empire, but he is unique in that sense, because he is such an amazing evil mastermind. I'm a big fan of Thrawn, so super excited to have him in my collection, I just, it's awesome. <laughs> Um, even though he's terrible, I love him. So, I also got some stuff at Disney Store recently. And some other stuff in Target that is Star Wars relevant. Okay, let me show you this stuff from, from uh, Target. This is so cute. My sister got this for me. It was a little stationery set. These were only a dollar. And it comes with a notepad, stickers, pencils, and a sharpener. So cute adorable and there's this other pencil that came with these I think they're erasers yeah stackable erasers because it's zoom zoom so which is so cute just a dollar in the dollar section at Target these are not Star Wars so I'm not gonna show you those it's just Bambi um the Emperor how cool is this he's got a little hood it looks creepy <laughs> He's got his little hands and there's like little lightning on the side too and I just think that was so cool and how creepy are his eyes That is awesome. And he actually has little wrinkles too. I don't know if you can see the detail. I Just thought he was so awesome <laughs> Then we have Anakin and Anakin has like a, a scar there and a lightsaber. He's got the blue lightsaber and He just looks like he looks like a bad dude and these I thought were so cute it is Han and Luke as stormtroopers I just love it they're definitely a little short for a stormtrooper so cute and who else did I get oh and this is Grievous who has several lightsabers got four lightsabers I just thought that was so cool Oh my gosh, I just love all this stuff. It's so awesome. It's such an awesome time to be a Star Wars fan. There's just so much stuff that it's just, it's amazing. I love it. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was for my haul today. This dude is my favorite for sure. I'm obsessed with Thrawn. Like I said, I'm reading the book. It's so good. Oh, I'm listening to it actually. And Mark Thompson is the narrator. He's great. If you um, are interested in finding out more about Thrawn, definitely check out the book. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you love Star Wars and Funko Pop, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to link to some other videos that you might enjoy as well. And for more Star Wars stuff, you can also check out my new channel, 
Miss um, Robin's Nerd Life. So thank you guys so much for watching and may the force be with you. Bye!